Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the very last problem from section 7.2, and the directions also ask to rationalize the denominator. All right? So here's what we're going to do. We are going to first use the quotient rule and split this apart. We have the square root of 5x in the numerator, and we have the square root of 28 in the denominator. Now, before I even worry about rationalizing, look what I can do. The square root of 5x in the top is just virtually done. There's nothing I can do to break this apart. But the square root of 28, we can break that into two square roots. You know, pay attention to the fact that 28 is really 4 times 7. So the square root of 28 would be the square root of 4 times the square root of 7. Okay? And that would become 2 radical 7. Now, so far what we've done is we've used the quotient rule to break it apart and then we've simplified the denominator as much as we can by taking out a 4. Okay, look what's happening now. I can't leave a radical in the denominator. It's not considered to be in simplest form. So I'm going to rationalize the denominator by multiplying top and bottom by the square root of 7. Okay? Look what happens in the numerator. A square root times a square root becomes a single square root, and 5x times 7 is 35x. In the denominator, here's a 2, right? The square root of 7 times the square root of 7 becomes the square root of 49. So I have the square root of 35x on top. Okay, look in the denominator. 2 is here, right? This is a times. And what is the square root of 49? Hopefully, 7. So look what I end up with for my final answer. I have the square root of 35x in the numerator. And in the denominator, 2 times 7 is 14. And we're finally done. Okay, and that's called rationalizing the denominator. And again, let's do a little view. Good morning from Panama City Beach. Sun coming up, and this is a beautiful day. So enjoy your day. And always remember, radicals are your friends. <laughs>